Dude, nah, nah. Dude. <laughs> 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 oh, my camera. Oh, drop it. Oh, shit. Hey, chill. Chill. Hey, chill. Look at this fool. He's raping me. What the hell? You're crazy, fool. Wow. Yo. You trying to set the mood or what? Hey, chill, chill. Hey, hey. Help. Audrey! <laughs> Today's workout freaking killed me. Today marks the first day of the new Lou program, Lou Gavez program. It's a lot of conditioning. Uh, this phase is about like, probably six, I think it's six weeks where it's nothing but high volume. But I began my workout um, by having the homie Romo roll me out because I was super duper tight. And then I hit some buffalo bar, some high bar buffalo bar. It felt pretty good, um, but I wasn't wearing any knee sleeves and I was a little tough because my knees kept coming in and I had to bring it out. So after that, I did some leg extensions. I did four sets of 12. You know, gotta build up some quad muscles, you know, work up that working capacity. You know what I'm saying? Palabra says. Then after I hit the leg extensions, I, I hit some stiff leg good mornings and that felt pretty good because I haven't deadlifted in a while. So I know I could do two plates even more. So. What's oh, up, fool? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to all the homies right here, dog. Look at this guy. Look Come at this. on. I'm talking to a camera right now. Hey, wow, they're smash. making fun of me? Wow. No, exactly. right, forget them, forget hey, them. The team didn't even smash. Wow. Tomorrow, bro. All right, so then after that, I hit some stiff legged deadlifts. Right? So I worked up to 225, four sets of eight, and that felt pretty good. Like, I was like, bra, 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 bra. <laughs> Hey, come on. Then I guess after in my like, stiff legged deadlifts, I did pro. Uh, no, I did uh, some. Uh, but what did I do? What are those called? Oh, I did lunges. So I did. Um, that was four sets of eight, so four sets of sixteen. You know, because it's eight. Don't Each leg is eight reps. Damn, distracting me and shit over here, dog. Can you see I'm talking to people, dog? Shit. Well, yeah. So basically, uh, I did some of uh, some lunges. You know that freaking hops up so much. My glutes are fired up today. Like damn. Like no one. If I went to prison today and I dropped the soap, no one could put the wiener mass. Hell no. I squeeze those glutes. Mmm. Fucking tight. But yeah, after I hit the lunges, I did some prowler. <laughs> I was gonna put 245s, but Lou decided to be on the prowler. And I know Lou weighs like 210, so it was even harder. So I'm like, fuck it, I pushed him. I did uh, three rounds with Lou, and then I just did one round 45, because that's tough. So right now, I feel it's like so tough, it's a good right start, because this is the first day of this guy's program. This guy right here, you know? This little, little, freaking, little hyena, watermelon, little fool that I just wanna, come here. Oh, shit! Oh, I wanna kiss you, oh! Why are you always touch my wiener, fool? All right, guys, well, I, I, now I have to go fucking run some errands. I gotta take a nap. I haven't been asleep since yesterday, since 10 o'clock. Low key. I haven't slept. Straight up, straight up. Do, but this, I say, do this for the I, dudes. Hey, yeah, that's right, homie. Do it for the dudes. All right, I need to put my shit away. All right, I need to get out of here. Hey, get out the way, fucking Ben. What the? Hey. Damn.
out, homies. Now I'm finally home. I can grub on these freaking banging meals. Look at this. Damn. So it's easy for me to put on my fitness pal. I like to do it like when I'm eating or before I eat, I'll input it so I kind of know like where I'm at. But yeah, it's so cool, you know, that I'm able to, you know, I guess what's well, the start? Yeah, this is good. This is ground turkey, chicken teriyaki. You know, I have to double fish it, you know what I'm saying? I think it's gonna be a pretty cool journey of mine uh, to get a six pack by May. It's gonna be very, very difficult to do, but once I get, excuse me, once I get, you know, get the ball rolling where I have my own routine, my whole little system going on, you know, being three years that I have not dieted really strict, it's gonna be a little hard transition for me to get to strict dieting, counting, weighing, all my food. You know, when I go out eat with the high nut, it has to be macro friendly now, and it's, it can be all those fancy places that we go eat, you know, freaking masa, Korean barbecue. I mean, we could eat Korean barbecue, but I have to bring my scale and all that. And I mean, I still could go eat with the Haina. It just has to be healthy. And I can't eat ice cream. I can eat yogurt though, non-fat yogurt. That'll be like a cool thing to transition to. But yeah, I have the homie Saron. He's gonna hook you up with all my macros and he's gonna help me also to basically uh, teach me uh, ways where I can eat still like fast food on the go like McDonald's see what's more macro friendly or what restaurants are macro friendly even though uh, it's still not gonna be like really really accurate it's gonna be freaking fucking hard fuck man but I know I gotta do it you know it's gonna really uh, I guess it's really gonna help myself you know my mentality and most importantly to get in that self control and mindset that I need to do this it's not for anyone, you know, I'm not doing this, you know, to impress anyone because I already got my fine ass Haina and she really likes me how I am, you know, she likes these jelly rolls, shit, she, all she cares about is, you know, the fucking cock, you know what I'm saying, the cock. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll still figure out a way to fucking still eat all these bad food, I'm pretty sure I'll figure out, like, I'm pretty sure I'll, like, save some of my miracles so I get an Oreo McFlurry or something, to, I don't know, I just love, I love to eat. But talking about eating, I need to eat all this before it gets cold. So right now, I think I'm gonna take a little short nap and head to the office, but I gotta eat first. You know, I haven't ate since like maybe like freaking six hours ago. No, not six hours ago. Yeah, six hours ago. Damn, six hours, fuck. Yeah, I need to eat. All right, so, so next time. Oh, not next time. Watch me freaking, and my day's not even over. So what am I saying, huh? But I'll... today at the freaking office the oficina food palabra so yeah i got some work done you know shot some product shots today you know applied my skills to get better at it because right now i fucking suck but one day i'm gonna freaking kill it and be dope as hell shoot because i know i am going to be a professional photographer one day i really hope so it's gonna take some time though i gotta be patient yeah, so right now, that's one thing I'm trying to, you know, get better at as well, is just, you know, staying positive, you know, don't get no negative energy, you know, or use that negative energy and make it a positive. And I wish that everyone can do that. And yeah, it's gonna be a struggle, but that's the fun part about stuff like this. You know, I know that it's a freaking huge, huge, huge struggle, but I'm gonna get through it. It's gonna take some time, and I gotta be patient. I got to. You just gotta be patient. And I seen like how, you know, impatientness fucking fucks up a lot of individuals. You 
know, I hate to like bring it in the fitness, you know, aspect, but when foods just get too, too impatient, they've only been working out less than a year and they want to take steroids, it's like, what? What's wrong with you foods? You know, I, you know, I don't, I can't judge you, but it's like, if you were patient, you would have like reached all these, you know, all these fitness goals that you have, like naturally, and then you get to a certain point where you're like, you know what, I want to take it to the next level. Then you're like, all right, do that. But I'm not, I'm not saying take steroids. I'm just saying, you know, I'm giving you guys an example. You know what I'm saying, homies? But yeah, I really hope that um, I could shine some light on you guys, you know, or you guys could shine some light on me. You know, because there going to be some times where I feel freaking doubtful again, you know, because I'm, I always have doubts. I always have doubts, you know, there's not a day or a freaking week that passes by where I don't feel, you know, any doubts. It's like when you get nervous, uh, you know, before a meet or before something that's very important, you know, giving your speech in, in class, you know, it's just like, that, that's, that's healthy. That just shows that you really, really want it. I think it's, it, it is hard for certain individuals to turn negative energy into a positive. You know, seeing that light at the end of the tunnel, it's, it, it is difficult sometimes, and I, I understand that. You know, I've been there. You know, being doubtful is, is, is also another thing that is scary. Because you think about it, you think about the future, you think about it, are you really gonna, you know, be there? Are you really gonna accomplish that goal? But that's up to you to get through it and figure out ways that to make you a better individual and get those goals, accomplish those goals, freaking kill it. Because I believe that everyone can kill it. Just set your freaking mind to it, you're gonna freaking kill it. You just have to really want it and really freaking wanna accomplish it. You're the only one that's fucking stopping yourself. No one else. You're the only one. So remember that, who's stopping you? Yourself. And that's one thing that I had to learn the hard way, like, damn, like, wh what's going on? Like, I kept blaming others, kept blaming other things, but the person that I didn't blame was, the main reason was myself. I believe, I truly believe that I'm gonna accomplish every goal that I, I set, and I, I know I will, because I'm that individual that I'm gonna give him my 150%, every single day to get there even though like it may not show or i am you know like i freaking i'm learning you know maybe i'm a slow learner but i learn every day i try to learn every day something new once you believe that you can't learn anymore i think that's where it's gonna mess you up the most as well like i always want to be like learning something new always like applying something new because there's always going to be some kind of new technology, new knowledge, new ways to do something. It just, it's always gonna work that way. Look at, well, you know how that, how whatever, that freaking cycle, how it works. But damn, I think I'm talking way too much. All right, so that's it. I'm freaking tired. I need to go home, go sleep, you know? Maybe, you know, fucking do one of these, you know what I'm saying? Fucking, you know, gotta, you know, you lose some kind of this energy that I just got, you know, gotta get tired, sleep like a baby, if you know what I'm saying. I know you know what I'm saying. But remember, remember, you're the only one stopping yourself, little essays, all right? Stay positive, get through the struggles, we're gonna get through it, and you're gonna fucking kill it in life, I promise. Palabra, fools. Peace. It's like hang out with my chubs or train and it's like of course I'm gonna hang out with my chubs and we hardly see each other like he said so when I could see him I'm like I take advantage of it even if it's just like we're gonna cuddle for five minutes and we